Hey guys, Product Misirak here and welcome back to another Roblox video. Today I am in Robloxian High School and I thought I would do a review on the Luxury Yacht uh, Game Pass which costs 1500 Robux um, because it is an expensive Game Pass and many people probably want to get it but they're not sure. So I thought I would show you what the Yacht does and what it gives you, basically, what it looks like and stuff like that. So I'll go through the yacht and you can decide yourself if you would like to get this game pass or not. When you buy the yacht, you are able to spawn it through the housing menu. There will be a button right here to spawn the yacht and it will spawn at a random location in the ocean and mine is right here. As you can see it is a really big boat. Here is my character right here. Then you zoom out you can see the boat is big and it has multiple floors and a lot to go through. We're going to begin with the bottom floor actually. Which is, <laughs> oh gosh, right here. Um, so before we head in I just want to say that I thought this yacht would be able to move. From what my understanding, it does not move because it is uh, a housing, basically, like a dorm. Um, so that's a big warning. Do not buy if you want a moving boat because this cannot move from my understanding. I'll show you later. Uh, but either way, so we're at the bottom floor. What you have here is like a kitchen. Right here, you can sit in each chair, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Uh, so this is really nice actually. It says that there will be a ship customization coming next update so we will be able to customize the boat if you do not like the red look right now. So that, that I like that. I like that a lot. That seems very nice. <clears throat> but if we head in here we have the, um, the beds. So you can go to bed in these beds I guess. We have four of them. Two bunk beds uh, with four sleeping spots. And uh, then we have the kitchen, kitchen itself right here. It has um, a sink, some form of oven, um, and frying things, whatever. Uh, we also have some cabins and a fridge and a freezer, I think. That's like both of them. Um, then over here we have a TV room, which has like an Xbox or something. And then some TV box. To, does this turn on? I do not think so. I don't play this game that much, so I'm not sure if it works. You can sit in the sofa, you can sit in the little chair right here. Very nice, actually. Um, we also have a quick access, to access door right through the kitchen to the little chill <laughs> living room, I suppose. Um, and then in here is the room with the control, uh, like where you drive. However, I cannot get it to drive. Like, you sit down, you can't zoom out or anything, and uh, whatever button I press, it hasn't done anything. So. I don't think it moves. Um, I think it's stationary because it would probably cause a lot of lag because it's a very detailed ship and people would probably fall off um, if it was moving. So yeah, because you can host parties on this ship if you have another game pass and stuff like that. So it is a very, very nice housing in that matter. Um, okay, so next up we have this little four seated table right here. It seems to be a bit broken actually. Um, what was that? What? Did you see how I fell before? That was very strange. Okay, uh, but either way, right here in the front of the ship, very nice. You can see, I like the style of the ship. It's very, very nice actually. Um, so what we want to do next, we want to head over to the next floor. So that you can do by heading all the way back here. Or you can just climb it, I guess, if you want to do that. You come up here, and we have a lot of stuff. We have two sofas and two tables and three more sofas and even a bookshelf so it's really nice um can they use decals for these as you can see um okay and that's it for this floor actually just a big cool room like that and then we get to the top and here we have a roof pool which is really nice actually it's also steamy so i guess it's like a bubble pool or a sauna pool or whatever and um, that's not even a thing I, I, I don't know what i'm saying um but yeah as you can see there's steam very very cool. We also have another one of these tables with a parasol right here. Um, and I suppose that's it for the ship. I have found a bug actually. If you walk right here you can actually fall through uh, right here. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Uh, it's obviously not supposed to be like that but I found that's a pretty funny bug. 
Um, the ship itself looks really nice. I love it. Uh, it's really, really well made. Uh, I have two points of criticism for the creators. I don't really like how the railings go out over here, like over each stair they go out. I, I, I would prefer if they were cut off actually, because then it looks like a bit better and when you walk up it's, it doesn't do that to the camera. Not that that's a big deal really, but yes, I thought. Same here. We have a railing that goes right over instead of being cut off. Um, but yeah, I guess that's it for the boat. I don't know if you can go back here. No, you cannot. You cannot jump off the ship or anything. Um, so unfortunately, you can't really swim. But yeah, uh, that's it for the ship actually. So I guess that was to show you if you want to buy this or not. And it's the luxury yacht for 1,500 Robux. Um, I personally kind of regret buying it, but... I don't, that's because I don't play the game, okay? If you play it, you probably want to get this boat. I mean, it's really, really cool, and being able to roleplay on this ship would be pretty awesome. Um, I mean, if I open this to public, I think it's friends only right now, maybe people will come and hang out, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna tell you what to do, you decide if you want to buy the yacht or not. I just thought I would show you since I have it, um, because... I, I think there are a lot of people out there having a hard time deciding if they want to waste 1,500 Robux or not on this yacht. Alright guys, but that is going to be it for this quick review of the yacht. I hope you guys liked the video. Leave a like if you did and comment below if you want me to review any other game passes that are expensive uh, and you have a hard time deciding to get it or not. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!